Hey everybody, me Joe from Boss USA. In this video we're going to be talking about electric conversions. We're going to cover both quarter scale electric conversions and we're going to cover six scale electric conversions using the Boss USA one six scale electric conversion kit. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay, so obviously one of the first things you need to do is you need to prep your airframe for the electric conversion. You're going to want to go ahead and take off your motor, take off your cowl, uh, just everything so that you have room to get at the electric conversion. One of the things that you're going to want to do in this process is you're going to want to find the center of your firewall here. So you can do that simply by measuring. So once you have your center mark, you can actually take your part number two from your conversion kit and line it up on the center. Just like that. Make sure you mark it. And then you can go in here and mark your holes where you're gonna drill for your mount. So now I have my holes marked where my drills will go. So to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, right here is the bottom. This would be the bottom underneath, and this right here would be obviously where your bottom wing would go. This space in here would be where your tank would have been before the electric conversion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the fuse crutch right here, and I'm going to put a couple of box sides, one on this side and one on this side, so that because right now all there is is a former in here on both sides if I make a couple of box sides out of some light ply and make this kind of boxed off inside here behind the F2 former then my batteries will have something I can stick velcro to them so when I stick my batteries up in there they'll have something to velcro to right here so here you can see I've cut open the bottom of the airframe and right along both sides here are where the batteries will velcro to so here you can see I've built my box on the inside, just a couple of sheets of box sides. And then the idea when you're all done is the batteries will go in here like this from underneath. Now you can make a hatchet here if you want to. You don't have to. And you've also got, if you didn't want to go the 2, 3S route that I do, you could probably put a 4S or a 6S pack, pack in this spot easily. So now what I've got is I've got my center marked, I've got my holes drilled for my electric conversion kit, and installed the new blind nuts. Now it's just a simple matter of bolting it on. So you can see here that this is designed so that you can move your screws, or get to your screws without taking the whole thing apart. You just go through these holes here in the front, and that gives you plenty of room to be able to get your screws driven for your engine mount. Just a matter of getting it lined up. Now you can tighten your screws in your motor mount. So now that you have your 1-6 scale electric conversion kit mounted to your firewall, then the next step would be to install your motor. So depending on what motor you use, you'll have to fit this to the front plate. I'm actually going to try a Power 32 with a Castle Talon 60 ESC and uh, probably going to end up running this one on 4S. But you can see here, everything fits perfectly. All I need to do is drill my holes and put my blind nuts in from the back side to mount my motor to. So now you can see I have the motor mounted to the electric conversion. Now all you have to do is use the built-in slider and figure out where you need your motor to be mounted. You want to test fit it with your prop. 
just like that. And you want to figure out what the distance is that you're looking for for clearance. Mine's going to be about right there. Then what you can do is hang on to it. And mark it. Now one of the things that you might want to think about doing at this point, while this is still loose, this is a great opportunity because we've left a little bit of play in this to get your down right and down, get your right and your down thrust. We recommend for these models about one degree. So when I mark this, I actually made that correction already. And if I put it in there right where my marks are, I will have my correct thrust. If you decide you want to mount this straight, that's perfectly fine. You can just put your washers behind your motors. So on this particular case, if I wanted to mount this flush, I could do two washers underneath this one, one washer underneath this one, and two washers underneath this one, and that would give me about one degree of right and down thrust. At this point, once you have your marks, all you're going to do is get it where you marked it, get it all set up. What I would do before I glue anything is I would go in and I would just do a little tack glue on this just to hold it. And then I would recheck everything. And then at that point, once you get it all rechecked, all you have to do is go in here and add your triangle stock. To your motor mount on both sides if you want one side regard however you want to do it you can do either back and front or just front or whichever you want to do is fine and you should be good to go just remember before you glue it in there solid you want to double and triple check the fit to make sure everything's good so you don't have to ruin your engine mount so as you can see here I've got the electric conversion kit done I haven't soldered on my connectors yet but you can see what I did was I added a plate to the top so that I can install my ESC right on top of here and then I will simply run my lead wire to my receiver back through here I'll drill a little hole right here and it'll go all the way back up and then actually on mine I think I'm gonna have the battery connector come down here and connect underneath the cowl right here rather than drill a hole I may end up drilling a small hole there's actually a small hole right here already where the fuel tube came through. So I might try to make use of that hole to be able to plug the batteries in so that at least the, the bottom of the fuselage and the firewall will keep the um, wires hidden a little bit. So I might make that hole just a little bit bigger. But other than that, this one's ready to go. I did decide uh, for nose weight on this one, I'm going to run two 3S 5200s but I'm only going to run them one at a time. And the reason for that is, is because the uh, Rimfire 32 is only rated up to 4S. And I believe that 3S will be plenty enough to power with it. I'll stick both batteries up inside and only one runs one side at a time. That'll give me two flights out of one battery change. So I can have the weight for the batteries up front and still be able just to run on 3S and it should fly fine and actually with a 5200 that's probably going to give me 10 to 12 minutes of flight time on this on my other models that are this size i've been getting about eight minutes on two 3s 2200s so i figure with one at a time 3s 5200s i should get eight to 12 minutes of flying time on those so that's that electric conversion now let's check out the quarter scale So here is the quarter scale Boss USA round cow electric conversion kit. You'll notice that we built this one a little differently than what the instructions call for because we wanted the batteries to mount on top. This actual airframe is going to have the World War I float set on it and we wanted to make sure that the batteries would not get wet from underneath. So we changed it a little bit and made the openings for the packs at the top. As you can see here, this is our modified cowl and this will fit on there. And it'll just open like this for you to change your batteries. 
that's simply just a couple of hinges on the aluminum cowl and that'll work fine when you get your kit it's going to come laser cut with everything you need that's going to be part number ec100 on the bossusa.com website and it has your instruction manuals and all the pieces you need to be successful building your quarter scale round cow electric conversion kit most of the people have found that on this particular build if you put the electric conversion kit on and use success batteries that you won't have to add any extra added weight i've had several people tell me that in their setups they didn't had to they didn't have to add any additional weight and literally were able to apply the round cow conversion kit put on their motor their esc and their packs and they were good to go with no additional balancing which makes it nice